Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Lorraine, also known as the Battle of morhang sarreburg that happened between France and Germany on August 14, 1914. French General Auguste de Bale, commander of the French First Army, was ordered by General Joffrey to take Sarreburg, a strongly defended town east of the town of Nancy, while General Noel de Castanel's French Second Army was tasked with taking the town of Morhang. Using the 2nd Group of Reserve Divisions, both generals pushed easily east. The Germans were commanded by Crown Prince Ruprecht of Bavaria, who had his men pull back and not engage if possible. General Joffrey had warned both French generals to not split up, to use the strength of numbers in their attacks. However, each time the French moved forward, the German troops withdrew during the day, and every time the French troops thought they might have defeated the Germans. Eventually, the Crown Prince Rupert counterattacked, maneuvered, and continued to lure French armies into heavily attacking, very well-prepared German positions. This is also when the German army started the use of heavy machine gun fire and artillery to full modern effect. During these attacks of what the French believe were successes, the French armies were slowly separating as they continued to push at various German positions at the same time. It appeared Ruprecht's plan was working. The Crown Prince decided the time to fully attack the French was on, and he commanded the Germans to counterattack and push the French back. On August 20th, the German troops moved forward to split the French forces up and force each French army to fight by themselves. This may have been more successful if French observation aircraft hadn't spotted the Crown Prince's movements, relaying that information back so the French could adjust their tactics. This resulted in a brutal battle which stopped the German advance and pretty much stopped both armies for the majority of the war. It appeared the next step of the fight would be the start of trench warfare in this area. Casualties were very high for both sides. It is believed the French suffered 66,500 killed and wounded, while it is still unknown how many Germans were wounded or perished in the fighting. The closest estimates seem to be approximately 67,000, but there are no definite numbers. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.